Well, we're back at the uh, Bloomfield Gym for the 50th uh, Christmas tournament. Tonight, we are already to game number 15 in this game. Portageville comes in uh, this uh, tournament, seated uh, third with a record of 6-0. and They're coached by Jim Bidewell, assisted by Ron Riddle and Mike Lewis. And uh, South Pym comes in with a record of 4-3. and South Pym coached by Chris Moore, assisted by Alandis Boyd. We've seen some good basketball so far tonight, Tommy. Been some good games all day long. All day long. And uh, we're just uh, happy that Channel 21 is able to bring all these games to you. I want to thank the Bloomfield R14 school system for allowing us to do this, and yet they're yeah, just try. as happy as we are. That's yeah, right. Tell you what, we lots of good athletes come through this gymnasium every year at Christmas. I always love this Christmas tournament. They put on a nice tournament. They know how to do it. They know how to do it right. They sure do. Big crowd. After the, the uh, last game, a lot of it thinned out. Puxico always brings sure a big do. crowd with them. Uh, Bernie brings a big crowd, and, and uh, Portageville always brings a nice crowd with them. That's right. And uh, we look forward to talk to Coach Bidewell and uh, uh, Coach Moore a while ago, sat down between them to get the starting lineups. And uh, those guys uh, were uh, – Kind of uh, feeling each other out. Neither one wanted to tell who was going to start and hoping somebody was ill and <laughs> just laughing a little bit. But uh, uh, all in all, we, we expect a, uh, a very good ball game, very competitive game. South Pym uh, uh, comes into this game, as I said, uh, with a record of 4-3. and three, And uh, they uh, start uh, an, a kind of an experienced team. Yeah, they do. Portageville uh, has one of the best freshmen uh, in uh, in and around the area and, and uh Connie uh, Ely, or Coney Ely, and uh, he uh, saw him play last night. First time we got to see him play this year. He did a very nice job. Tell you what, he looked nice for a freshman, didn't he? Yes, he did. You know, just talking about Chris Moore, how they was feeding each other out. Robert Ison told me a funny story when he went down to South Pym to play them and, and left two of his players home ill. He walked in down there, and it was homecoming, and so the coach said, well, I really hated that you left two players. I kind of wish you had to leave some more. <laughs> he said he's really a funny guy, a really he nice is. fella. We've got Bulldog versus Bulldog, That's so if right. we say the Bulldogs are ahead, we'll be okay. Starting lineups for Portageville Bulldogs. Number four, Leonard Boyd. He's a senior. Also, number five, Mikey Johnson. He's a junior. T.J. Smith, number 10. He's a junior. Trey Mosby, a uh, number 14. He's a senior. And Marcus Green, number 15. He's a senior. Again, Portageville coached by Jim Bidewell. Assisted by Ron Riddle and Mike Lewis. South Pemiscott comes in with a record four wins, three losses. Chris Moore, the coach, assisted by Londos Boyd. Mauricio uh, Clay, uh, he's a junior. He wears number three. Number 10, a senior, Jeremy Patton. Number 22, a senior, Zach Clay. Number 32, a sophomore, Bruce Smith. And number 40, a senior, Felix Spates. Officials for tonight's game are Tim Harmon, Matt Kenny, and Jay Cookson. Matt Kenny will toss the ball up. Well, that looked good. I like the enthusiasm. I do too, Bill. I sure do. It's always a lot of fun to see uh, people having a good time, and uh, these are young people. They're student athletes, and it's Christmas time. It's That's vacation right. time. That is right. Boy, another set of good officials we have here. They've got had good officiating all sure throughout this tournament. Can't complain about the officials. We've even got a few of them up in the stands that are pretty good because yeah, I've right. heard them not, not agree all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of officials to fill in if we need to. Jumping for the Portageville Bulldogs will be Marcus Green, Felix Spates for the South Pemiscott Bulldogs. Bulldog versus Bulldog. Matt Kinney to throw the ball up. We're underway. The ball tipped in the backcourt. Controlled by Jeremy Patton of South Pym. Zach Clay with the ball. Over to Spates. Spates back to Zach Clay. We've got two Clays out there on the floor. 
Ball shot up and missed. Ball thrown underneath. Spates uh, gets the ball back. He gives the clay. Portageville in a uh, man-to-man. I'm going to call it, but now it looks like a zone. I tell you what, you never know what they're doing. Might be a matchup. Spates with a uh, shot up. Rolls off the rim. Rebound by Green. Johnson with the basketball for Portageville. No score, just underway. Johnson to Smith. Smith to Boyd. Boyd back to Johnson. Underneath to uh, Smith. Loses it off his foot. Driving down for a layup is Mauricio Clay. There's going to be a foul. He's going to go to the line to shoot two. First foul of the game goes to Mikey Johnson. Play just a junior. Puts his first up. Rolls it in there. First point of the game. 7.01 to go in the first period. South Pym on top. 1-0. Coming in for Portageville is Terrell Jones. Going out is... Marcus Green, second shot up, no good, rebounded out of bounds too, off of uh, Jones' hand, and uh, South Penn will South Penn maintain Penn possession under their, under their own bucket. Inbounding the ball is Patton, throws out to Spates. Spates for the free throw line, puts it up, no good. Rebound uh, Johnson at time for Portageville. Talked about Portageville last night, how well they box off yeah, uh, they the boards. Smith with the basketball, tried to hit Jones, and the ball goes out of bounds. Coming into the game for Portageville. It's number 24, Aaron Kershaw. Going out is Smith. Patton with the basketball for South Pym. Over to Mauricio Clay. To Smith. Spates underneath the reverse layup, no good. Ball tipped around and controlled by Kershaw. Kershaw over to Johnson, quickly down to Jones. Boyd inside the lane, spin move, kicks the ball out to Trey Mosby. Over to Kershaw. Ball tipped out of bounds, Portageville will control. 6.14 to go in the first period, one to nothing. South Pym on top. Mosby with the basketball for Portageville. There's a ball down to Kershaw. Kershaw to Jones. Jones has a ball tipped out of his hands. South Pym with the ball off and running. Mauricio Clay down to Spates. Spates was standing on the out-of-bounds line. Coming in for Portageville is Coney Ely and Jacob Besties. Got a turnover there of carrying the ball by Trey Mosby. 5.50 to go, still one to nothing. Low scoring game. There he is. Still feeling each other out oh, there. Yeah. Trying to get everything settled. Play with the basketball. Pass down and out of bounds. Mauricio Clay was trying to hit. Zach Clay in the corner, and Clay broke to the bucket. This ball did. went out of bounds. Most people with the basketball to Johnson. Johnson to Estes. Estes to Mosby. Inside to the big guy. He goes up. Ely puts up a shot with his left hand. He's going to be fouled. Foul that time on. Felix Spates is first. South Pim's first. Going the line to shoot two will be Coney Ely. Just a freshman. Boy, he's a good-looking guy. He sure is. Got the build. His first shot up. Wouldn't go. Second one up. Ball rolls around. Will not go in. And South Pym gets the rebound. That time by Bruce Smith. And he tried to hit Felix Spates. And Spates had already hit the other end ball. Turned over yep. to Portageville. Portageville with the basketball. Kershaw has it. South Pym in a man-to-man. Estes with a basketball. Gives to Ely. Ely tried to hit Johnson down low off his fingertips. Turnover on the, by Portageville. 5.15 to go in the first period. Still one to nothing. South Pym on top. 
Patton down to Zach Clay. Back out to Patton for three. Puts it up. No good. Off the front, of, off the side of the rim. Zach Clay hustles for the rebound. Gives it back to Patton. Patton has a pass intercepted in there by Mosby. He goes in for the layup. Scores it. First basket. First points for Portageville as they take the lead over South M. 2-1 with 4.50 to go in the first period. Felix Bates is going to be uh, held in there. Let's see who they're going to call the foul on. Foul is going to be on Kershaw, his first, Portageville second. South Pem will inbound the ball out of bounds. No still substitutions coming yeah. in for Portageville. Put your head down, you'll miss who comes in for Portageville. Ball passed out to Mauricio Clay, to Patton. Patton to uh, Smith. Smith gave the ball to Spate. Spate tried to hit on the side over here. Zach Clay, ball overthrown, out of bounds. Portageville will control with the lead with 4.35 to go, 2-1. Trey Mosby with a basketball. He's a senior. Gives the ball to D.J. Birdwell. Inside to Bruce Mathis. He tried to put up a shot. Wouldn't go. Look at that hustle sure right there. Is. Birdwell with a basketball. Yeah, and we're going to have a walking call on Mathis. 4.19 to go. Still very low scoring going. 2-1. to one. Patton with a basketball for South Pym. Woodsville in that man-to-man. Zach Clay with a shot from the sideline, and he's going to be fouled by Trey Mosby. It's his first, and going to line to shoot three is going to be Zach Clay. Zach Clay is a senior. His first one is up. In and out and back in. Got a friendly bounce, didn't he? Sure did. Good touch. You bet. Clay's second shot is up. Knocks that down. All the points so far for South Pym have been free throws. They're up 3-2. to two. Clay can make it a two-point uh, advantage for South Pym. Shot up, scores it. Looked up there and hits all three of them. Yep. Four for five from the free throw line is South Pym. Four minutes to go in the first period. South Pym on top, four to two. Mathis with a basketball inside to Birdwell. Birdwell with a turnaround jumper, and the ball is partially deflected. Mauricio Clay with a basketball for South Pym. Gives the ball down to Patton. He drives in. He's going to be fouled by Birdwell. His first. Portageville's third, or Portageville's uh, fourth, I believe. Yes, fourth foul. Going the line is going to be Jeremy Patton. He's going to have uh, two shots. Sinks he's first. Coming in for Birdwell is Mikey Johnson back into the game. Johnson is a junior. Patton's second free throw up. No good. Rebounded on the floor that time by Ely. Gives the ball to Trey Mosby. Mosby with a basketball. Gives it to Kershaw. Kershaw looking to pass the ball. Dribbles back out front with it. Being hounded in there by sure Zach Clay. Is. Boy, a lot of pressure put on by South Pym. South Pym's Pat- kicked that defense up. Right. Johnson with the basketball. Passes in. Uh, passes to Tony Ely, who tries to hit Mathis, uh, breaking under the bucket. And the ball tipped away. And. South Pym down the floor with it. Ball thrown inside. Trey Mosby takes it away. Portageville off and running. Kershaw has it. They've got the numbers. Nice bounce pass to Mathis. Puts it up. Couldn't get it to go. Johnson with good hustle there. Gets sure the ball. ball. Gives it to Mosby. Mosby's, Mosby's going in. Puts up a layup. He's going to be fouled. Nice, nice hustle sure that was. time by Portageville. Foul that time on. Bruce Smith, his first. South Pym's second foul, going the line to shoot two. It's going to be Trey Mosby. First is up, no good. Portageville 0 for 3 early in the game from the line. 5-2 is the score, South Pym's on top. 
Second one up, scores it. Coming into the game, back into the game is Leonard Boyd. Going out is Mathis. Bruce Mathis, only a sophomore. Yeah. Getting some valuable playing sure time is. here. Zach Clay with the basketball for South Penn. Portageville in a man-to-man. Ball to Mauricio Clay into Felix Spates. He goes inside, puts it up, and uh, draws a foul. Couldn't get it to go down, but he's going to go to the line to shoot two. South Pem does not have a field goal, yet they lead 5-3. to three. They've shot seven free throws. or 5-7 for seven from the line. Spates to the line to shoot two. Right. Foul that time on Leonard Boyd, his first. Portageville's fifth. First shot up, no good. Marcus Green back in for Coney Ely. Spate second shot up, scores it. 6-3. South Pim on top, all six are points from free throws. First show of the basketball, throws inside to Green. Green goes up that left hand. Can't get it to go. We've got a jump ball between Green and Mauricio Clay. Ball will stay with Portageville on the alternate possession. Green had a nice game last night. He sure did. Boyd with the basketball. Inbounds it to Johnson. Johnson in back to Boyd. Boyd, uh, nice quick pass. pass over to Trey Mosby, and he's going to try to go up, and he's fouled. Foul's going to be on the floor. Foul is going to be on Zach Clay, his first. South Pim's third. Leonard Boyd to inbounds for Portageville. Mikey Johnson out for three, no good. Ball rebounded by Zach Clay on the floor. Clay quickly down the floor. In transition, Patton inside two. Bruce Smith, and Smith gives the ball out to Mauricio Clay, and Clay puts up a shot, missed. Johnson with the rebound. Portageville has the ball with two minutes to go in this second quarter. Johnson trips and falls down, and we've got a 20-second timeout called by Jim Bidwell. I said two <laughs> minutes, 2.03 to go in the period. Tommy, very low-scoring uh, game, and we'll be right back in just a minute to talk about that. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition. Means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start career training. At TRCC, I'm getting training for a good job with a good salary. Three Rivers has high-tech equipment. Great instructors. And convenient classes. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Yeah, it's just a slow-paced game. Both both teams are having a little trouble getting started. Well, I would say that defense has I a think, little bit yeah, to do with that. Yeah. I mean, uh, South Pim is really packing it in on that man-to-man. And then uh, on the other end, uh, South Pim does not have a field goal. Of course, Portageville only has one field goal and one free throw. They're one for four right. from the line. And uh, South Pim is two, four, six, nine. They are six for nine from the line. Yeah. So 6-3, to 2.03 to go in this first period. They'll get it lined out, and they'll get started here in a minute, and they'll go. Both these South Pim's looking pretty good tonight. 
South of course, Portageville is going to kick it up here. Jim Bide will keep change of player. He's going to find oh, yeah. a combination to work here. Well, he, everybody gets in that game. They get in the flow. Estes into Johnson. He's going to drive. We're going to have foul on Mauricio Clay on the floor. Portageville will inbound from underneath their basket. Four fouls uh, right now on South Pim. Two minutes exactly to go to the game. Boyd to inbound. Gives the ball. Tried to hit uh, Green with it off his fingertips. Mauricio Clay with the ball. And we're going to have double dribble. Turnover on South Pim. I don't need to call them the Bulldogs because we got Bulldogs <laughs> versus Bulldog here. Yeah. Bulldogs on both sides of the ball. In that. Trey Mosby inbound to Johnson. Back to Mosby. Mosby down to Estes. Estes out to Johnson. Johnson thought about it. Gives over to Mosby. Mosby, Mosby just inside the three-point line. Put up a shot. Would not go. Rebound. Zach Clay quickly down the floor. Gives the ball over to Mauricio Clay. Puts it up. Misses. Spates there to tip her back in. Felix Spates with his first field goal. The first field goal for South Penn. They lead, lead uh, Portageville 8-3. Green with the basketball. Gives it to Estes. That's just a green. Green drives, puts up a 12-footer. Off the rim, rebound that time by Anthony Kennan, who is in the game for South Pim. Coming in for Portageville is Terrell Jones and also Coney Ely. Tell you, tell you this, uh, Anthony Kennan is a big young man. He sure is. Pass inside to Spates. What a nice pass. He couldn't make the shot. Rebounded that time by Jones of Portageville. Gives the ball to Ely. He gives it to, to Mosby. We're under a minute to go in the first period. 8-3. to three. South Penn on top of Portageville. Johnson with the basketball. Throws it down to Ely. Ely's going to drive against Spates. He gives a fake. Pump fake. Puts it up and in. Nice, nice move. 8-5. to five. South Penn leads by three. Zach Clay with the basketball. Nice ball handling there. Gives to Mauricio Clay. Back to Zach Clay. 25 seconds to go. Portageville in that man-to-man. South Pim trying to set a play up. Spates wants the ball inside. They can't get it to him. Into the game is Caleb Canoy for South Pim. He had the ball, passed the ball down to Spates. Spates is going to try to drive the baseline, puts it up, and we're going to have a blocking foul. Couldn't stay on the ground that time. Terrell, Terrell Jones, or Terrell Jones. Going to the line to shoot two. It's going to be Felix Spates. He's one for two in this quarter from the free throw line. Sixteen foul on Portageville. The next foul will put uh, South Pim in the one and one. Spates misses the first one. Coming into the game for Portageville is Dario Hicks. Spate second shot up. Rolls it in. Coming in for Portageville. Replace Spates is Charles Taylor. Oh, I'm sorry. Caleb uh, Canoy. Turn around left-handed hook shot that time. Bastis would not go out of bounds. Over to South Pim. Ben Smith is in, I should say, for... Uh, South Pim. Coming in for Estes is T.J. Smith for Portageville. And that's the end of the first quarter. With the South Pimiscot Bulldogs 9, the Portageville Bulldogs 5. Well, it's a slow-paced game. Both of them playing good defense. Both of them hitting the board, doing what they want to do. Jim Bidewell could, you know, as long as this game, it wouldn't bother him if it stayed below 10 points all night. He's interested in defense. You know, if he can hold the other team to 8, he'll take the win. But they're, they're going to get a combination out here. Both teams, South Penn's looking a lot better tonight against Portageville. And it, it's a low-scoring game, but a good game to watch. These kids are playing defense. Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods, call Kenneth Store at 888 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names in your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kennett at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods in Kennett. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kell. Give them a call or stop by the Kennett store for all your sporting goods needs. 
Hitting her free throws. Hitting her free throws, uh, South Pym is. If they hadn't hit them free throws, it'd be in trouble, wouldn't it? Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonite Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. They're 7 for 11 from the free throw line. And one field goal. They have nine. Portageville one for four. They have five points. Portageville will control to start this second quarter. Hope you've enjoyed watching the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament as much as we've enjoyed oh, yeah. bringing it to you. Channel 21, New Wave Communications. Ely with the basketball. Ball put up in the three-point oh, line started. from Mikey Johnson. He buries it. 9-8. South Pym still on top. Patton with the basketball. Where's Clay has it now? He's being guarded by Dario Hicks. Gives the ball to Patton. Mosby is on him. Play with the basketball down in the corner, too. Canoy, shot put up, missed. Portageville with a rebound. Quickly down the floor. Portageville running. Shot put up that time by Dario Hicks. Missed it. Portageville, the board. Portageville gets the ball sure back. Is. Ball tried to be passed over that time to TJ Smith. Tipped out of bounds by Canoy. Good defensive play, good sure deflection. Was. Mosby. With the basketball. Inbounds to Johnson. Hicks has the ball go off his hands, but gets it back to Kanoy. Inside to Smith. He puts it up, can't get it. With a breakaway layup is Mauricio Clay. He puts it in. He has three and a half. 11 8. South Pim back up by three. Smith with the basketball. Gives it over to Hicks. Hicks back to Smith. Smith with the bounce pass inside to Mosby. He goes in, puts it up, scores it. Nice bounce sure pass are. that time from Smith to Mosby. Mosby converts. 11-10, 6-10 to go. Ball pass down to Ben Smith for South Pym. Back out to Patton. Patton down in the corner to Kanoi. Kanoi for three, won't go. Ball picked up on the floor by Mauricio Clay, he has a ball stripped by Mosby. Mosby tries to bounce pass to Hicks, and instead, Patton comes away with it, tries the length of the floor, and boy, Ely. Ely got up in, swat that Ely away. Ely batted that one away. That's his first foul. <laughs> Going the line to shoot two is Patton. Coach Brent. Biden was talking to, to <laughs> sure Kenny, the official, saying, now, what kind of foul was that? <laughs> well, a freshman got up in the air that time. Oh, he got up. Thought he was going to hit his head on the backboard. <laughs> Pat's first shot up and in. Kershaw in. Going out is uh, Mosby for Portageville. 12 to 10. 5.53 to go in the second period. South Pym still on top. Patton's second shot up. Crawls over the rim and in. 13-10, still a three-point lead. It goes from three to one, three to one, three to one. Yeah. Smith with the basketball for Portageville. We're going to have a foul on Caleb Canoy, his first. Fifth team foul on South Pym. Oh, the ball off uh. of Hicks' hands as Smith inbounds. Just took their eye off of it. That's all it is. I'd like to say I've never done that. Oh, no. 
Patton with the basketball. He drives in, gives the ball over to Mauricio Clay. Puts up a jump shot. It's blocked. As Hicks blocks that, Clay gets it back, gives it to Patton for three. Puts it up. No good. Rebound. We're going to have a foul on number five. It's going to be Anthony Kennan, his first. Sixth foul on South Pym. Taking the ball out of bounds will be Kershaw for Portageville. A lot of people, you know, they don't, they get used to this up and down yeah, game, uh-huh. up and down game, up and down game, and, and the, uh, these slow games like this, they say, what in the world's going on? That's just good strategy, That's good, good defensive uh, basketball by both teams. Hicks with the basketball, gives it to Johnson. I'll tell you, South Pym has turned up the defense now. Oh, they sure have. Mauricio Clay with his second foul. Both teams now in the one and one. Both teams with five fouls. Mikey Johnson to the line. He has three. He made a three-pointer earlier in this period. 5.08 to go. Zach Clay going to check back in for South Pym. If this free throw is made, it's not. Ball rebounded to BJ uh, Ben Smith. He gives the ball to Mario Clay, who uh, tries to hit Kanoi on the fly. Ball is tipped out of bounds by Portageville. Wholesale substitutions coming in. When we say wholesale, we don't, we're not knocking the players or anything. Right. There's just a lot of people That's coming right. in. It's more more than we can keep up with, That's I can right. tell you that. Yeah. We'll just try to catch them when they're out on the floor. Patton will inbound the ball for South Pym. Ball to Zach Clay in the corner. Inside to Smith, who gives to Spates. Nice oh, passing yeah. that time. Nice little shovel pass. Sure there. was. 15 to 10. South Pym up by five. Mikey Johnson <laughs> using that pick sure by Kershaw right. just down the, the floor there. Boyd with the basketball to Trey Mosby for three. Puts it up. Does not score. We're going to have a push foul that time on Leonard Boyd. It's going to be his second foul. To shoot a one and one will be South Pym. Shooting will be Bruce Smith. Puts his first one up, scores it, gets the bonus. South Pimps hitting those free throws. Yes, they are, Tommy. They were 7-11 in the uh, first period, and they're 3 for 4 in the second period. So they're uh, 10 for 15. Next one up. Off the front of the rim, rebound Ely for Portageville. Gives to Mosby. Down to Johnson. Johnson to Kershaw. Kershaw to Mosby. Portageville trying to work it in. Mosby passes the ball out front. Nobody there. Zach Clay with a steal. Tries the length of the floor. Puts it up. No good. Spates tips up. No good. Kicks with the rebound. Gives it to Ely. Ely to Johnson. Four minutes to go in this second period. 16-10, very low-scoring right. game. But, boy, is a defense That's picked up. Head. Look at there, Patton with a steal. He goes in, puts the layup in, scores it. Jeremy Patton. Five points for Patton. South Pym extends the lead. Biggest lead of the night, 18-10. Those be to Kershaw to Ely. Ely goes inside. He's in the lane. He's going to have to do something. They're going to call three got seconds him. on him. Got him hung up in there. Had him hung up, couldn't get rid of the ball. Nobody to throw to. Estes coming in for Kershaw. South Pym, no hurry. They're up by eight. Ball to Smith. Smith's going to drive in. Loses the handle on the ball. We're going to have a jump ball. It will stay with South Pym. Good defense. Nice defense that time. Dariel Hicks. Patton throws out front to Smith. Ball taken away by Hicks. He's going to go in, puts it up, and he's going to be fouled by Bruce Smith. That's going to be his second. Smith got up, tried to block it. Sure did. He blocked it, but he got part of got part of him. Got part of Hicks. 
Dario Hicks will shoot two. First one up, scores it. Smith out for South Pym in is Anthony Kennan. Hicks second shot up, scores it. 18-12, 3.20 to go. Zach Clay with the basketball. Nice defense that time, cut sure him off. Was. Patton drives, puts up a jump shot, free throw line, no good. Rebound by Hicks. Hicks gives it to Johnson. Portageville trying to speed the game up a little bit, then they pull it back. Estes with the basketball for Portageville. Tries to get on. inside to Hicks, the ball taken away. Down for a layup and puts it up and in is Caleb Canoy, his first two of the night. 20 to 12. South Pym extends that lead sure back to eight. Or takes that lead back to eight. Mosby with the basketball. We're under three minutes to go in the second period. Mosby throws oh. underneath to Hicks off his fingertips. Had him open in there. Coming in for Portageville is Birdwell, Mathis, and T.J. Smith. 20 to 12. 2.30 to go. Patton with the basketball at 2.30 to go in the second period. Kennan with the ball, throws underneath the spats. Ball kicked out of bounds off of, Portage, off of uh, South Pym. Portageville will gain control of the basketball. Mosby has the ball and gives it over to Mathis. Mathis to Hicks. Ball taken away by Zach Clay. He drives the length of four and he's going to be fouled. He's going to be called a walking call. Walking Walking call. Coming in for Portageville is Kershaw. Going out is Hicks. Hey, these coaches work these referees. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey. They're not mad. <laughs> they're just working them. <laughs> Look at Jay Cooks and laugh. <laughs> Portageville with a basketball. I tell you, I, I'm very impressed with South Pym's I defense. Am sure am. Really am. They're working hard at it. Playing man to man. Mosby's going to drive, goes inside, and kicks it off his own leg. 148 to go in the second period. South Pym still on top, 20 to 12. You know, we knew Portageville was going to come in and play good defense, and, and South Pym's kicked it up too. Yeah. Zach Clay with the ball, a reach in foul that time on Birdwell. That's his second. Going the line to shoot a one and one is going to be Zach Clay. He's three for three from the line there, all in the first period. Shot up, good, he gets the bonus. I think South Pym has uh, done what they need to do to make their free throws. Second one up, no good, and we're gonna have a foul. On the back is gonna be Felix Fate, his second foul. Going to the line to shoot a one and one will be Portageville. What's he want? Our cameraman's wanting this candy that was uh, given to us by Susie Hayes. She uh, brought that by the studio today. That was yeah. nice of Susie oh, Hayes. Oh, it was. Very nice lady. Tell you what, we've had people come by and grab candy and everything else from That's us. Right. So they, they know who Channel 21 is. <laughs> <laughs> Shot put up that time by Kershaw. He scores the free throw. He gets the bonus now. Off the rim, ball rebounded by Smith. Smith is is hurt. He's on the floor. Yeah, sure is. Oh, away. nice takeaway by Birdwell. He tries to give it to Mosby. Ball turned back over. Patton on the run for South Pym. He pulls the ball back up. Minute 25 to go in the first period. Zach Clay has control. South Pym's going to go from a set. Kanoi has it. Ball taken away that time by Smith, and then he lost control of the ball as he tried to throw it. Turnover.
Ely coming in for T.J. Smith for Portageville. One twelve to go in this first half. 21-13, South Pym on top of Portageville. Zach Clay with the ball. That ball must be slippery. Everybody's having a hard time picking it up. Kershaw with a steal. Nice pass over to Mosby. Puts it up, scores it. Trey Mosby with seven, 21-15. Under a minute to go in this second uh, period. Ball tipped out of bounds that time by Bruce Mathis of Portageville. South Pim will control on the side. Inbounding will be Anthony Kennan. He passes to Zach Clay. They look underneath the ball stolen by Conley or Ely. He gets ahead to Mathis. He puts it up and in. Or Mosby, I mean. <laughs> well, these guys are going to think that I, I don't know who they are. I've never <laughs> seen a ball game. Patton with a basketball. Portageville's cut it to four. We're going to have a foul on Birdwell. That's going to be his third. Going the line to shoot two this time. He's going to be in the double bonus. It's going to be Jeremy Patton. He's three for four from the line. Shot is up off the front of the rim. Coming in for Portageville is Mikey Johnson. Going out is Trey Mosby. Second shot up, scores it. 22-17. Ely from 18, oh, scores nice it. Oh, nice shot. Turn around, stuck that thing in there. Tony Ely is fourth point. 22-19. Portageville's closed it in three. Very sure quiet. Has. Very sure. quiet. Just kept coming. Methodical. Zach Clay with the basketball. Gets everybody in the air, puts it up. Ball rolls off the rim. Ely with the rebound. It's going to be called for walking as the horn goes, goes off to end the first half. It's South Pym, 22, the Portageville Bulldogs, 19. Tommy, yes, what do you think of the first half? Well, I'll tell you what. It was just a good defensive first half. Portageville just kept hanging around. South Pym went out by eight or so, and then here came South Pym. I mean, uh, Portageville closed it up. Got to play a little bit better defense down late in that second quarter. Caused a few turnovers, went down, scored. Just a good played first half. It was a good, and I tell you what, uh, people that uh, don't care for defense, they just want right. to see offense. Yeah. That was a sleeper for them. I'm a defensive uh, player, coach. Right. Yeah. I, I could, you've heard me talk about forget 32. I was for the guy <laughs> you forgot. When, when I had the ball, everybody said, let him shoot. <laughs> so, uh uh, yeah, I like to, I like to see the good defense, and and it's always uh, fun to see uh, young oh, yeah. guys work at it. And South Pym has played good defense tonight. Oh yeah, and, and let's say you know we knew Portageville coming in, they were going to play. You know that's just a trademark of Portageville. You're going to play defense, or you're going to not going to play. And then but I, I've got to say South Pym, you know they've held their own. They've done a pretty good job. I believe it'll be a good second half. Keep talking, Tommy. Okay. I'm figuring, figuring here. it out. Hey, both teams were shooting free throws pretty well at uh, South Pym. That was what was keeping them in the game early, and they missed a few late, but, uh, but they went up here and they hammered them pretty good. Tommy, South Pym is uh, 12 for 19 from the free throw line, and uh, Portageville is 4 for 8. Scoring in the first half, we have Mikey Johnson with 3, Trey Mosby with 9, Aaron uh, Kershaw with 1, Ariel Hicks with 2. Tony Ely with four. That's Portageville scoring for South Pym. We have Mauricio Clay with three. We have Jeremy Patton with five. Two, four, five. He has six, I should say. I'm sorry. Caleb uh, Canoy with two. Zach Clay with four. Bruce Smith with one. Felix Spates with six. We'll be right back to start the second half. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave is the local leader in communication and entertainment needs. Digital cable, telephone, high-speed data from one source. Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Second half of basketball. Coming up, 
And uh, Mitchell Fisher, uh, yeah, great coach back when I was coaching at Clarkton. He was coaching Delta C7. Superintendent down at uh, South Penn for quite some time. And uh, stopped by and he said, when's the last time you've seen Portageville held to, held to five points in the first period? South Pim is playing some good defense, though. South Pim is playing excellent defense. Portageville did not even get to warm up. No. They're going to start the second half. I mean, uh, they're going to have to get out there and get the five out there so uh, they can get the second half started. 22-19. This is game number 15 of game or of 26 games to be played in this 50th Bloomfield Christmas tournament. We're glad that you joined Channel 21, New Wave Communications, bringing you all 26 games from the 50th anniversary of the Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. Boyd uh, takes a pass, gives it back to Johnson. Johnson starts the second half with the basketball. Portageville had a little momentum going. Johnson puts up a shot. No good. Boyd the rebound. Puts it up. Scores it. Scores it. Third Boyd. Portageville closest they've been in quite some time, 22-21. Sure, right. I think we're going to see a little faster pace this so. second half. I think Portageville wants to pick the pace up. Ball tipped out of bounds by Mosby. Nice defensive sure, play. Right. Applied the pressure that time to Jeremy Patton. Ball passed over to Clay. It's Mauricio Clay. Ball to Spates. Spates for the corner. Nice, nice soft shot. jump shot. Spates with eight on the night. 24-21. Smith with the basketball for Portageville. Picks up his dribble. Gives to Green. Green's going to drive. Drives all the way in. Puts it up and scores it. Marcus Green, nice drive. His first two of the game. Zach Clay with the basketball. Smith is on him. To Mauricio Clay, throws it inside to Smith. He loses the handle on it. Out of bounds, tipped out by the Portageville Bulldogs. South Pim will keep possession. Portageville looks like they kicked it up a little bit on defense. Jeremy Patton, I don't know how much more they could pick it up, but <laughs> they picked the pace up a little bit. <laughs> Spakes with the inbound pass. Catches it, turnaround jump shot, rolls off the rim. Nice rebound that time by Trey Mosby. Mosby with the ball. Going to drive in, puts up a shot. No good. Gets his, uh, tried to get his own rebound. Smith with the rebound. Mauricio Clay with a breakaway layup. Nice sure. pass down. Clay with the shot. Scores it. He has five on the evening, 26-23. Nice rebound by Smith. Got sure. the outlet pass to the breaking Clay. And a breakaway layup. Take away oh, again. Nice steal there by Mauricio Clay, and he makes the layup. 28-23. South Pim on top. Smith with the basketball for Portageville, and he's going to be called for carrying the basketball. Coming in for Portageville is Kershaw and Ely. Going out is Smith and Boyd. Inbounding for South Pim was Bruce Smith. Patton with the basketball. He's the quarterback of the team. They're going to get over. him for palming the basketball or turning it over, as you said. Because he took that ball right in front. That's right. The ball's going to be stolen. Mm -hmm. Kershaw inbounds to Mosby. 5.55 to go in the third period. South Pim on top. Smith with the steal and save, and the ball tipped out of bounds by Green of Portageville. Nice defense that time sure by Bruce Smith. Smith inbounds to Patton. 28-23, South Pim on top. Patton down, tries to hit Spates with it. Ball stolen by Kershaw, or tipped away and taken away by Kershaw. Gives it to Johnson. Johnson back to Kershaw. Kershaw down in the corner to, to Mosby. Mosby tries to go inside the green. Ball, I tell you what, uh -huh. Smith has played great defense. He sure has. And now he's got the ball back, kicks it outside to Zach Clay for a long three. He and knocks he hits it, it down. Play with seven, 31-23. South Pim quickly out to an eight-point lead to start this third period of play. 
First show of the basketball to Johnson. Johnson to uh, Green. Green puts up a soft jump shot. Ball tipped out of bounds by South Pim. Portageville will control under their own basket. First shot to inbound. 4.55 to go in the third quarter. Oh, nice pass into oh, Green. Yes, Makes the layup. Nice play at time. Just sit there and waited sure for it to is. develop. Nice pass in. Good, good shot. Zach Clay in. Going to be called for walking. A little bit out of control that time. Yes, he was. Yeah. be with the basketball. Portageville trails by six. Johnson now has it over to Kershaw. Kershaw back to Mosby. Mosby drives in, cut off. Nice defensive play by Patton that time. Ball thrown inside to Green. Green working against Smith, puts it up, scores it. That's a nice turnaround. Marcus Green with six in the corner and six in the game. Zach Clay with the basketball. Being guarded with Johnson. Tries to pass inside. The ball taken away by Portageville. Mosby on the run. Going to drive in, puts it up, and going to be fouled, and no, oh, it almost fell. It almost fell for him. 31-27, 4.06 to go. It sounds like, I'm poor, uh, you know, that I'm not pulling for Portsville. No, you uh, just like to see a good play, you a young man uh, to be rewarded on. Both these teams playing very, very well. Oh, yes. Mosby's first free throw up, no good. Portageville now four for nine from the free throw line. Trey Mosby with nine. Next shot buries it. It's double figures. 31-28. Four minutes to go in this third period. South Pym on top. Patton with the basketball. Looks inside. Gives it to Clay. Clay's going to drive. Puts up a 12-footer. Scores it. Zach Clay. Five and a quarter, nine on the evening. 33-28, South Pym up by five. Mosby with the ball to Kershaw. Ball taken away by Smith. I tell you, Smith has been on every he defensive sure play you'd think of. Mauricio Clay in for the layup, scores it. Clay was six in a quarter, nine on the evening. 35-28, 320 to go. Mosby to Kershaw. To Ely. Ely from a long three. Out front oh, scores he, it. What a pretty shot. Connie Ely. Tony Ely. 35-31. Three minutes to go. In the third quarter. Spates in for a shot. He's going to be fouled. The foul is going to be on Marcus Green. It's going to be his first. First foul on Portageville in the uh, second half. Both teams with one foul each. Spates to the line to shoot two. It's two for four from there tonight. Now make it three for five. Coming in for Portageville is Estes. Coming in for South Pym is Anthony Kennan and Caleb Canoy. Spate second shot up off the front of the rim. Rebounded that time by Green. Gives it to Mosby. 36-31. South Pym on top of five with 250 to go in this third period. Estes with the basketball. Gives it to Green. Green tries to get it down to Ely, and the ball was picked up that time by Mikey Johnson. Puts it up and in. 36-33. Zach Clay uh, down the floor and going to be a pushing foul that time on Mikey Johnson. Check that. It's going to be on Ely. Call that on Ely, yeah. His second. Zach Clay to inbound. Gives it to Mauricio Clay. Back to Zach Clay. Inside to Spates. Spates looks down in the corner to try to hit Anthony Kennan. Ball tipped out of bounds that time by Portageville. South Pym to inbound under their own basket. 2.31 to go. They're up by three. Of 
Ball out front to Kanoi. Kanoi being guarded by Estes. Kennan from the corner, puts it up, no good. Rebound Zach Clay, puts it up, no good. Rebound in there by Trey Mosby. Mosby quickly down the floor. Oh, nice pass. Oh, over what a Green. pass. Very nice pass to Green. Green with eight in the quarter. We've got timeout on the floor with South Pem on top of Portageville, 36-35, with 2.12 to go in the third quarter. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave's DVR is like TiVo, only better. Pause, record, and rewind live TV. Now TV that fits your schedule? Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. Portageville got Green involved in the game a little more now. And that, you know, he was didn't do a, have too good a game the first half, and he's he's come alive in the second half, and, and uh, like he did last night. He had a nice game last night. And I tell you what, he's capable of filling up in a hurry. Marcus Green uh, didn't score in the first half, Tommy. He has eight here in the uh, third quarter. And uh, he is, uh, Portageville's come out uh, with a little fire in their eyes. That's right. And uh, tell you what, South Pim's hanging right with them, you know, still holding a, still holding a little lead on them. But it's just both teams just going at each other playing very well. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonai Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in southeast Missouri and northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Zach Clay with the basketball for South Pimp. Gets it to Spates. Spates goes in for the layup. No good. Rebound in there by Mikey Johnson. Johnson with the basketball. Portageville can take uh, the lead. First time in a long time. If they score it, Johnson kicks the ball out of bounds. Got a little excited that yes, time. Did. Out of control. Of course, the defense had a lot to do That's with right. that. Zach Clay with the basketball. Kicks it down in the corner to... Kanoi for three, he scores it. Caleb Kanoi. Five on the evening, 39-35. Mosby with the basketball. Oh, oh nice, nice pass, pass off to Mosby. He's got 10 in the quarter, 10 in the game. 39-37, 120 to go in this third period. Game is picking up. Oh, nice, no, nice no. dish I'm off to the same thing. Yeah. Great passing right sure, now by both yeah. teams. Defense steps out. They hit the open man, the offensive guy does. Mosby with the basketball to Johnson. Gets it into Ely. Ely goes in, puts it up, scores it. Ely with nine. Five and a quarter. Sack Clay with the ball. 50 seconds to go. Kanoa in the corner. Brings it out. Oh, oh, nice, nice pass. pass. Wow. No nice. luck pass right to that man. Nice pass to Spates. We've got timeout on the floor with 42 seconds to go. South Pim on top of Portageville, 43 to 39. Skeeter Kale Sporting Goods, call Kenneth Store at 888 or Lloyd Rice at 576-4471. Nike, Adidas, Russell, any and all kinds of major brand names in your favorite sporting goods. New location in Kennett at 1300 Industrial Drive. That's Skeeter Kell Sporting Goods in Kennett. We're wearing vests tonight from Skeeter Kell. Give them a call or stop by the Kennett store for all your sporting goods needs. Coach Bidwell was not happy with that. No, he was not. No. I'll tell you what, that space is a big young man. And I want to tell you, that was a that was a good pass it right sure there. Was. That pass was thrown in there about 20 feet. And I mean, it had some ump on it. Yeah, and you had to catch it because, boy, sure. he, he aimed it right at good you. Good hands. He did good a good hands. job. Both of them did. Well, Tommy, uh, we've seen some good basketball today. And uh, 
some uh, good sure. plays, uh, good close games, and uh, even uh, the Malden uh, Dexter game. I mean, <laughs> even uh, it was like a 30 point game, but I want to tell you, much closer oh, yeah. than the point spread. I'll tell you, that was a very close game, and uh, Dexter in it all the way, and then Malden pulled it out right there midway through, uh, actually toward the end of the third quarter, it started pulling away. Right. But we've seen some good basketball. Sure, have. Fans have been been entertained today. They've got their money's yes, worth. They have. Mosby to Estes. Down in the corner, two. To the big uh, Ely. And uh, Ely has the, tries to throw the ball inside. The ball taken away by Portageville. Zach Clay says, we're going for one. We'll see. Mauricio Clay with the ball. Back out to, to Zach, to Mauricio. Down to 15 seconds. In the corner to Kanoi. He's going to put up a three. Doesn't make it, but uh, Spates there at the rebound. Puts it up. No good. Ely with the ball. Taken away, and he gets it back. Ely's going to go in. He's going to be fouled on the floor with five seconds to go. Portageville will have the basketball outside or uh, out <laughs> underneath the basket. 43-39, South Pim on top of Portageville. Foul that time on Mauricio Clay, and it's his third. Ball passed in, pa- bounced past in Ely, and he uh, missed the shot, got his old rebound, and put it up and in as the horn yeah. goes off. The score at the end of three quarters. It's South Pim, 43. Portageville, 41. A lot of scoring that uh, that time, Tommy. Sure was. They kicked that up a little bit. Yes, that they defense, did. Def- still playing good defense, but they did. They, they had a little offense that quarter. Uh, that, uh, both teams played good. Spades played very well. And... Uh, and the uh, green, green from uh, Portageville, he come alive, doing a nice job. He'll take that ball the hole on you. Yep. Well, at time, Portageville scored 22 and uh, South Pim 21. So 43-41. Yeah. I think Portageville wanted to wanted to speed the game up. I some. think so. Yeah, I think you're right. Trey Mosby is a good guard. He handles the ball well. Yes, he does. Marcus Green at time with 10 in the quarter for Portageville. He had a good quarter. Sure did. And I'll tell you what, the uh, the freshman, Ely, he showed signs that time of, of what he could be. He could deal somebody some fits. He jumped out there and hit a three-pointer. He hit the boards a couple times, put it back in. Right. He contributed. Patton with a basketball over to Smith. And Smith played some good defense yes, at that sure uh, period, is. I will tell you that. Back to Smith. Smith in the corner to Kanoi. Kanoi to Mauricio Clay. A jump shot from the just outside the free throw line. The ball rebounded back to Mikey Johnson. Puts it up and in. We've got a tie game. Sure have. Forty-three all. Seven and a half minutes to go in this final period of regulation. Yeah. Sure Patton with the basketball to Kanoi. And always dribbling around down nice to Pat inside. He puts it up, rolls off the rim. Ball tipped up that time by South Pim, controlled by Ely of Portageville. Portageville with a chance to take the lead. First time they've been, uh, I think they've only led one time in the game. Right. Kershaw with the basketball inside to Ely. He puts it up. No good. Rebounded uh, that time by South Pim. We've got a jump ball. Like the ball is going to stay with Portageville. Kershaw to inbound. The alternate possession on the jump ball. Ball passed over to Mosby. Puts it up. No good. Tipped up by Mosby. Ely with the ball. Puts it up. No good. Ball tipped out of bounds. Portageville will control. Ben Smith uh, with South Pim come out, uh, came out rubbing his mouth there. Yeah, he must, he have, must have caught one in the mouth. Ely with the basketball is going to drive in, puts up a shot, scores it. Scores it. Freshman powered it in. Sure did. 13 in the game for the freshman. Tony Ely. Patton with the basketball. Portageville on top with 6.35 to go, 45-43. Ball pass down to Mauricio Clay, puts up a shot, can't get it to go. He gets his own rebound. Puts it up, can't get it to go. Mikey Johnson with the basketball, gives it to Mosby. Mosby's going down the floor, and he's going to be fouled by Patton. Patton's first foul. 
Third foul on South Penn in this half. Boy, both teams are not, neither one of them are in foul trouble, no, really. That's right. Coming in for Ely is Leonard Boyd for Portageville and uh, TJ Smith coming in for Mikey Johnson. Kershaw to inbounds. 6.20 to go. Portageville on top, 45 43. Ball passed underneath and stolen away. Ball that tried to hit Mosby on a curl around there. Patton with a drive, puts it up, does not get it to go. Mosby with a basketball. He's going down the floor. Oh, he's quick with the ball, he's isn't quick. he? He sure Puts is. it up and in. Trey Mosby with 12 on the night. Kanoi with the basketball for South Penn. Gives it to Clay. To Kanoi, to Smith. Smith at the free throw line. Back to Clay. Clay bounce passes it nice in to pass. Ben Smith. Smith puts it up and in. Smith's first two of the of the night. 47-45. Portageville leads by two. I started to say still leads by two. They just got the lead about uh, 30 seconds ago. Smith picks his dribble up. He's in trouble. Gives the ball to Boyd. Boyd tried to hit. Green breaking down the lane there. And ball out of bounds. Coming in for Portageville is Felix Pates and Zach Clay. Going out is Mauricio Clay and Ben Smith. 5.20 to go, 47-45. Patton with a basketball. To Clay. Clay to Kanoi in the corner. Kanoi walked with the ball. Turnover. Unforced turnover sure right was. there. Nobody on him, and he knew what he wanted to do. He wanted to throw the ball, and all of a sudden there was a guy there, and he yeah, just took right. one extra step. Or that's, that's, that's the way it looked, it looked like for here. Right. right. Smith with the basketball, gives it to Ely. Ely underneath there, tries to throw underneath. Look here, Portageville gets the ball back. Now South Pym gets the ball back, and we're going to have a foul on the play. Three Rivers Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college or career classes. Three Rivers affordable tuition means Pell Grants go further. I can use A+. I got a scholarship. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. Community College is a great place. A great place. A great place to start college. Why pay university prices? When the same classes at TRCC cost a lot less. I can use A+. I get individual attention. I'm close to home. To learn more, go to trcc.edu or call 877-TRY-TRCC. Get started at TRCC. Enroll now for summer and fall classes at TRCC. See who the foul's called on here in just a second. We're going to have a foul. We're going to have a, uh, a three-second violation. I can't figure out. I hadn't seen him call anything. I hadn't seen him call. We, we heard the foul. I don't know if they're going to call a three-second or uh, we'll just wait and see what, the, what happens. Yeah. There's a timeout on the floor with five minutes to go in this game. Portageville 47, South Pym 45. You know, this has been a fun game. It's been very enjoyable, but watching these teams get after each other. They've kicked it up a little bit. That defense has forced some turnovers on both sides. They run the floor. And I tell you what, this Portageville team, they're going to guard you, and South Pym has really come to play tonight. Been a good ball game. Sure has. Like I say, people that know basketball, they like they like to watch good defense, and both teams have kicked it up. That's right. Ball turned over to Portageville. Green with the basketball. Gives to Ely. To Smith. Smith drives to the free throw line and gives the ball to Kershaw. Healy, he's going to drive in. Boy, he's a good looking. Oh, kid, he sure he? is. A nice move. He's got a foul on the play. Foul's going to be on South Pimp. Foul is on Bruce Smith, his fourth. 444 to go in this game. Healy to the line to shoot two. First one up, in and out. 
He's 0 for 3 from the line. Second one is up. Off the front of the rim. Rebounded by Smith. To Zach Clay. South Penn with a chance to tie or take the lead with a three-pointer. We're going to have a foul at time on Mikey Johnson, a push-off. His second. Portageville's third of the half. Neither team close to being in a one-and-one. No. One. Smith with the basketball is going to inbounds. Far South Pim down in the corner. Kanoi ball tipped away by Kershaw. South Pim was standing still on that That's inbounds right. pass. They weren't moving. Smith to Kanoi. Kanoi out front to Zach Clay. Clay over in the corner to Patton. Patton for three. Got it. Oh, nails it. Patton with nine on the evening. South Pim takes the lead, 48-47. 4-15 to go in the game. Mikey Johnson with the basketball. Looks for someone to pass to. Gives to Ely along the baseline. Nice bounce pass into Smith. Puts it up. No good. Ely with tip up. No good. Ely back with tip up. No good. Smith puts it up. No good. Rebound South Pim. They're running. Ball to Smith. Off his fingertips. Goes down. Puts it up. Scores it. I thought it was going to roll out. Roll back in. South Pim up by three with 3.50 to go. Johnson with a ball, take, ball oh, tipped away, away by Smith. I want to tell you, that young man has played him he one sure great has. defensive game. He Bruce anticipated Smith. that just right. He sure did. Timeout on the floor. 52-47. South Pim back up by five with 3.41 to go. Tonight's game is also brought to you by Boomers Productions. The next time your company needs a commercial, safety, informational, or music video made, please contact Boomers Productions. Working with Maldonado Productions, we can produce your next video requirement. We also bring to your local news and programming as seen on Channel 21 and the New Wave Communications Network. We're currently seen in Bernie, Bloomfield, Essex, Campbell, Dexter, and Malden, and looking forward to serving more towns in Southeast Missouri and Northeast Arkansas viewing area. Boomers Productions and Channel 21, your hometown channel. Call 281-2121 or visit our website at boomersproductions.com. Also, our toll-free number outside the Malden area, 877-566-2121. Hey, what? South Pemis got kicked that defense up, caused two turnovers, two buckets off those turnovers. And, and that uh, Jim Bidwell didn't like that, called a timeout, going to make some adjustments, come back out. Three minutes and 41 seconds to go. South Pemis up 52-47. Still a lot of time in this ball game. There is a lot of time, Tommy. And it's, uh, I tell you what, it's been an enjoyable game to it watch, sure enjoyable game to call. You know, the way this thing started out, to jockeying back and forth, one or two points here. Tell you what, it's it turned into be quite a game. And you know, like you say, you watch a game like a Dexter Mall and up and down the court after each other, and you watch it. I just like good basketball, whichever way it is. I like both types of basketball. I like to get it and go, and then I like a good defensive game. Well, it's been a fun day, I can tell it you sure that. Has. We've had uh, two days uh, where we're going to see 16 basketball games, a lot of basketball. Like to watch the basketball, yeah, like to watch right. high school basketball. And boy, if you like it, this Christmas tournament that's is a dandy. Right. The folks at Bloomfield know how to treat yes, you and know how do. to put one on. Portageville with the basketball. Take it away again. Look right there. Smith, I want to tell Straight you, in. that guy has played one great game of sure defense, has. and he's contributed on offense. He wants this game. He sure does. Zach Clay with the basketball. Three minutes, 15 seconds to go. South Pim up by five. Green is on him. Ball thrown in and out of bounds. It's going to be off of Portageville. South Pim will maintain possession. Boyd going into the game for Portageville. Coming out is Kershaw. Patent day inbounds for South Pim. They're going to take a 20-second timeout. Couldn't get the ball no, in, Tommy. Right. Had to call timeout. Portsville had had everybody covered. Smart play. Smart to take a oh, timeout. I guarantee you. Tell you what, that Chris Moore's had his South Pemis got Bulldogs. He's had them keyed up and ready to go tonight. Now yes, they, he they, they're going to have to play and play play with this Portsville team. 
Well, it's been, a again, an enjoyable game to watch, enjoyable game to call. Hope that you've enjoyed it. Again, we want to thank uh, the folks at New Wave uh, Communications. Lots of people watch these basketballs on 21. I don't know how many people's asked me, when are these games going to be played? We're ready to watch them. And that one lady stopped me over there and she said, I just watch them over and over every time they're on. <laughs> I do too. She's going to get a chance to she watch sure them throughout is. 2007 <laughs> because uh, we plan on playing these games for uh, our viewers' pleasure and also the players, the cheerleaders, the fans. Uh, you know, if they're at the game, good chance they're going to be seen. Sure. And, uh, again, you know, Tommy, I look back. Uh, I was given tonight uh, uh, the games that I coached up here in the Bloomfield Tournament when I was with Clarkton, the box oh, scores. Yeah. And uh, I tell you what, I don't, I don't, didn't have those, and I really cherish that. Yeah. And I, I really look forward to keeping oh, going. Oh, yes. That's Ball right. inbounded to Zach Clay. Oh, boy, the floor. Man. some hustle. You talk about some skin left on the floor. It was. Zach Clay now has the ball over to Patton. Patton for three. Buries oh, it. Buries it. Patton with 12 on the evening. I'll tell you what, South Penn feels it. They're up sure by do. eight with 2.50 to go. Johnson with the basketball. Picks his dribble up, gives it to Ely. Ely here, has the ball taken on. away by Spates. Spates gives it to Zach Clay. Smith from the free throw line puts it up. Doesn't even draw iron. Rebound. But right there for the rebound was Zach Clay. No good. Uh, he couldn't get it in. Johnson with the rebound. 2.20 to go. Ball given to Green. Green from way out. Can't get it to go. And Portageville, like, you get it, I get it. And That's then right, yeah. they both both wanted to jump out and get it, and they both did. Yeah, both young men tried. 2.11 to go. 55-47. South Pym on top. We've got a timeout on the floor. With timeout, Tommy, let's take it back to the station. All right. This game brought to you by your friends at New Wave Communications. New Wave is the local leader in communication and entertainment needs. Digital cable, telephone, high-speed data from one source. Call New Wave today to find out how you can save even more by bundling digital cable, telephone, and high-speed data. You know, I South Penn has been struggling this year. I tell you what, they, they pulled it together tonight and played a nice game. And, and these two schools, are like a lot of these schools, are school districts joined down there. They're always going to play each other tough. I'm sure in the last few years, Portageville's got the better of it. But tonight, boy, I tell you what, this South Penn Scott Bulldog team come to play. They have, Tommy, and they played a great defensive game. And this Bruce Smith has really stepped, oh, yeah. stepped up the defense. Sure Smith has uh, five points on the night. But uh, his defense, uh, you know, he's he's in double figures. Yes, you bet. I'll tell you what, has he ever contributed ever place? Not only scoring, he's he's added value all over the court. Tommy, is our table falling? I don't know. I believe she's right now. I don't know what it. It felt like that thing was going down on us. Yeah, I believe it. We've not had any accidents so far. No, that's right. We don't want any accidents. No, we sure don't. Smith inbound for South Pam. 2-11 to go in this game. Ball passed down to Spates. Puts it up and in. Felix Spates with 13. 10-point lead by South Pam. The biggest lead of the night for them. Mosby with the basketball. Portageville in a hurry. Estes now has it. Gives a ball to Ely. Ely outside for three. Puts it up off the front of the rim. Ball tipped out of bounds. Controlled by Portageville. 151 to go. 57-47. Well, Coach for South Pembroke Scott's really coaching over there now. Oh, yes. Ely with the basketball from three-point side. That puts it up. Will not go. Green with the rebound. Puts it up. Short. Smith with the rebound for South Pem, and he's going to be fouled. South Penn will control sure. under their defensive board. Foul that time on. Coney Ely, his third. Both teams with four fouls. Nobody close to being no, in uh, one and one yet. Clay with the basketball. Gives it to the other Clay. That's Zach Clay. Minute and a half to go. 
Ball pass down to Patton. Patton's going to put up a three. No good. Ball off the rim. Rebounded by Mauricio Clay. Puts it up. No good. Mikey Johnson with the basketball. Throws it down to Mosby. Mosby puts up a three. In and out. Rebound by Smith off his fingertips. Ball put into uh, Estes. Puts it up. Has it go off his fingertips. Ball to Mauricio Clay. He loses a handle on it. That ball must be sure. made of ice. <laughs> ball really under a minute for a while. Under a minute. Zach Clay with the ball to Mauricio Clay. Back out to Zach. South Pim in no hurry. No. Estes with the foul. His first. Portageville's fifth. Neither team in the one and one. 51.8 seconds to go. Smith to uh, inbound. That's Bruce Smith for South Pimp. Gives the ball to Patton. Patton into Mauricio Clay. Puts Plays it up, up and in. 12 point lead for South Pimp. 40 seconds to go. Nailed Green it. for three. 59 50. South Pim still running with the ball. Smith uh, to Spate. Spate slammed her down. Spate didn't slam it down. 61 50 with 20 seconds to go. Mikey Johnson with the ball for Portageville. Gives the ball to Ely. Ely's going to drive in, puts it up, scores it. This ball game is over. It's over. South Pim puts the ball under to. Uh, to Spates, he's going to score as the horn goes off. We have an upset here. Sure do. South Pim coming in and defeating the uh, Portageville Bulldogs, 63-52. Tommy? Well, it was a very well-played ball game on both sides. Portageville, you know, I, they come in, and, you know, they're always dangerous, Portageville. They come in, they're going to play you hard on defense. And Coach Bidewell, you know, any – Coach Bidewell team is going to play hard. South Pemiscott had their boys fired up, ready to play tonight. And you got to give Coach Moore credit. He had his Bulldogs ready to play, and, and they didn't quit. They just kept clawing, got that lead, just kept playing. And they just wanted it a little more, I don't know. But i tell you what, no losers in that game. Both of, All those young men played so hard. and I hate to see anybody lose a game like that, but i tell you what, that's why we play them. Well, Tommy, let's uh, give the recap of the game here. Scoring-wise for the victorious uh, South Pemiscott Bulldogs, you had uh, Mauricio Clay with 11. You had uh, Jeremy Patton with 12. Caleb Canoy with 7. Zach Clay with 9. Ben Smith with 2. And Bruce Smith with a very, uh, with a nice 5, but great defense oh, yes. on him. Felix Bates with 17. And uh, South Pem now goes to 5-3. and three. Coach Chris Moore said they needed that win for the Portageville Bulldogs. They pick up their first loss of the season. They go to 6-1. and one. You have Leonard Boyd with uh, 2, Mikey Johnson with 7, Trey Mosby with 12, Marcus Green with 13, Aaron Kershaw with 1. You had uh, Dariel Hicks with uh, 2, and Coney Ely with 15. Nice game. Enjoyed it. Nice game, and uh, right now we can tell you that uh, South Pem will play the winner of the Bernie Donovan game. And, uh, Van, uh, and uh, Portageville will play the loser That's of that right. game tomorrow. That's right. We'll be right back with another game for you from the 50th Annual Bloomfield Christmas Tournament. 